All right, you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at the top 100 players of 2018. Today, we're gonna be starting at 46. Harrison Smith, safety for the Vikings. There's been a hell of a lot of Vikings players lately. I don't know why. Maybe they're, um, they're all being sifted out, so then the top, the top, uh, top 30 might be Vikings free. I'm not sure, but let's see. Let's crack into it. Harrison Smith. Harrison, man. Man. I don't know, man. That's the heart and soul of this defense right here, man. Literally the heart and soul of this defense, man. I'm telling you, you pay attention, you watch our team, our defense out there, Harrison is the guy. Oh, he's up from 74. Harrison Smith, the leader of last season's top-ranked defense, can do a little bit of everything. He can uh, make plays on ball carriers. And Harrison Smith for no gain. He can uh, make plays on the ball. It was ripped away by Harrison Smith. Oh, nice. Smith. He's great at rushing the passer. Harrison Smith was untouched to Drew Brees. As a quarterback who's played against this defense, you got to know where he's at at all times. Those sort of red lights and the quarterback's head goes off when you see him down in the box because, you know, he could drop out, he could blitz. Look out. <laughs> Fucking hell, what a hit. Amazing catch by Harry the Hitman. Oh, nice catch. He's flying around, hitting people. You know, I've seen him back there a couple times, unfortunately. Smith is listed as a free safety, but he has the ability to line up anywhere. Yeah, he's Using big for a safety. And causing mistakes. He has Alvin Kamara out of the backfield. He just keeps sinking. He keeps sinking. Too big. Just a great job of him understanding that route concept of what the Saints are trying to do. He's one of the best disguised safeties I've ever played against. How big is he? Harrison Smith. Let's look him up. He is six foot two and a hundred kilos. He looks bigger, but he's quite lean. He's 29 years old. Let's see his uh, pre-draft measurables here. 4.57 for the 40. We've got a 34 inch vertical and a 10 foot 2 broad jump. With definitely uh, some solid numbers there. In passing situations, Smith knows how to blend in. Against the run, he knows how to stand out. Nope, doesn't work. Here comes the hit man. So he does both. You talk about the best all around safety in the NFL. It's pushing back. Said on camera because I'm be rushing, I'm gonna forget somebody's name, and then when I see them, they're gonna be mean mugging me. So I'd rather not even go that route. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll just pick one then. How about Harrison Smith? I like him. <laughs> Getting off blocks like he had behind me. And it's just a TJ Jones and pushing him aside like a rag doll. Blitzing the gap, running through like he's a linebacker. Harrison Smith comes flying through from the backside. You know how to say the thing. I actually go out there and make tackles. Mm -hmm. You can play linebacker if you wanted to. I mean, yeah. He's always up in the box and uh, there for run support. So, I mean, if you, if you wanted to play linebacker, he could. Yeah. I mean, I think Harrison Smith had the best year in, in safety. Because he gets his grade at the end of the game by his coaches, I'm pretty sure most of them is just straight pluses. It's fucking well, big, man. At the end of the game. He's aggressive, but when he's aggressive, he's right. So, I mean, that's not a flaw for me. I swear he's more than 220 pounds. I swear. All right, 45, Devontae Adams, wide receiver for the Packers. She should have been on that last year. I think he was disrespected by not being on the top 100 last year, but, uh, man, this play style speaks That's some disrespect. Self. Um, I haven't seen a guy who can cover him yet. And uh, even when he's covered up, he's still, he's still going to go get the ball, so it don't even matter. Last year, Devontae Adams was the final player frozen out of the top 100, coming in at number 101. Aww. This year, he's risen to number 45, despite putting up fewer receiving yards and touchdowns in 2017. 
Maybe it just took a year for Adams to get his due. Or maybe other players saw him step up when Aaron Rodgers was hurt. Adams caught five touchdowns each from A-Rod and backup Brett Hundley, proving that he's a star no matter who's throwing to him. Go! Oh! Nice touchdown. Main target for me, just because he's always open. <laughs> always open, you know, I don't care who's guarding him. Oh yeah! <laughs> Probably one of the hardest receivers. Oh ever. yeah! Bang! His is per. I'd love to be doing that. If you ask me, I mean, that's just something you can't cope with. Whoa! He's a complete receiver. Like he's one of those type players. As long as you put the ball in his hand, he's going to make plays. Whether you see him time after time make guys miss. Oh yeah, fuck man, he's got a nice step. Where are you going? Here you go, I saw it. And another one. <laughs> fuck. Oh. I haven't seen many like side steps for a while actually. We gotta get down the field, man. Devontae Adams is an explosive guy, um, uh, big play capability, he can jump. You got Moss, he's definitely one of our Randy Moss type players. He go up over people here and definitely go get it. He can do it all. There's nothing that you can just point out and think that you're going to take away from him because he can do everything you need him to do. Quick toss, Adams, left side, spin to it. Got the first down from the end zone to the end zone for the touchdown. That is a nice run. Devontae Adams, a walk wow. 25 yard touchdown reception. Just something as simple as a slip screen to him, and it takes it 25 yards for a touchdown. Look at that spin. That was mean. I mean, the explosiveness in that play alone just sort of shows everything he can do. He races through the Browns defense, 25 yards for a touchdown wow. in overtime. Whenever we need a play, you can see time out the time again, we're going to 17. All right, man. That was sick. Number 44. What's his name? Devontae Adams. All right. David. No. He should have been around last year. David DeCastro, let's do this. Guard. I have not seen a guard for a freaking long sometimes time. It gets me sometimes I get him, but I mean... Uh, Maybe at all, actually. He's definitely, definitely going to be a Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer. Wow. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's how it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I play against him. I mean, so you got the center, him. you got the two guards and the two tackles. So the tackles are more so like a little bit more mobile, I'd assume. But let's have a look. He's a hell of a player. David DeCastro. Oh, mate! You'd be happy with that. I like hearing this, eh? Steelers guard David DeCastro still has some work to do before he gets fitted for a gold jacket. But the two-time All-Pro has made an impression during his six seasons in the NFL. Solid. Solid. David, so guys. <laughs> what the fuck happened there? You know, I've always kind of watched and had a, had a respect for. It. You knew watching him as a rookie, the way he kind of showed up every week on tape, that this guy's going to be a special football player. When I asked Fletcher Cox, you know, who the best guards are in the NFL, DeCastro's one of the first guys he's, he brings up every single time. He might have the look of an old school mauler, but it's quick <laughs> that makes DeCastro elite. Looks like, he looks South yeah, African to me. Those direction. White South African, yeah, obviously. Change direction with him. Those feet. <laughs> this pitter pattern, quick feet. You just take a look and marvel at the footwork. Unique athlete. Oh man, oh shit, that was really good. For how he was going to set, how he was going to block people, and uh, had a certain ability and strength and leverage and all those things. That Who's that number 97? You can't get past him, Jackson. Power and uh, agility. The way he moves and everything allows him to play effectively and then do things that other guys can't do. The caster pulling to the outside. Oh! The big guy. That is brilliant. Pull and get in space. Uh, they get him out on the edge, and he seals a lot of blocks and allows Le'Veon to pick up a lot of yards. In Tell me that guy's in the top 50. Hall of Famers, it's DeCastro <laughs> I want to see him. Gives them all a chance to shine. 
He's smart. He understands angles. He understands, you know, where he needs to be to get the block and to set the play up. You know, it's nothing glamorous. It's nothing showboaty about it. It's just go out there and do your job, play in, play out. It's that lunch pail of a position. Really, the more you play off the line, the more you respect guys that are like that. Yeah. If I was playing behind guys that opened up holes for me, I would respect the hell out of them, man. First guy I'd be turning around and fucking whacking on the helmet and say, yes, thank you, we did that. All right, guys, that's another one. Three more. The next one, Mark Ingram, running back for the Saints. Haven't seen many running backs, which I'm excited about. Should be good. So in the meantime, guys, if you have liked this one, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. And uh, we're going to finish this, man. This is the last thing I do. We're going to finish this before the season starts, all right? I'm calling it now. So I'll see you soon.